To move my website from ZipWP onto my main hosting server, the first thing I did was I went to my hosting server and I installed a blank WordPress install. So here we can see we have satcrafter.com. I can actually do a magic login and show you the backend of the website. Now it's important that you go in and install a blank WordPress install because we're going to override it with our staging site from ZipWP. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at this. So here we are, we are on uh, satcrafter.com. You can see here, and if I open this in a new tab, you can see that this is actually a blank WordPress website. So the next thing we need to do is to come over here now and install a plugin called WP Vivid. So this plugin is absolutely free, but if you want the paid features, you can go ahead and pay for it. But what we're going to do now is enough for us to just use the free version. Okay, so what you want to do is to come over here, click on add new plugin. Next, you want to search for WP Vivid. And here it is. Install and then activate. Great. The next step now is to come over here to zip WP. And over here, I'm going to go into my site, which is SiteCrafter. So same thing, I'm going to log in to my site and install WP Vivid. Now, it's very important that we install WP Vivid on both websites because this is where we're going to create a backup from one site and then restore it on the other website. Okay, so over here now, what we're going to do is we're going to come again to plugins and then click on add new plugin, WP Vivid. Now, over here, I've already gone ahead and installed it. So what I'm going to do now is look for WP Vivid, which is right here. So all you want to do is to click over here and then you want to make a backup. So I'm going to go with this first option here, which says database plus WordPress files. So we are backing up the whole website. So we're going to do the databases, the files, pretty much everything on the site. All right, so let's go ahead and click on backup now. So you can see here on the top, this is the progress bar. So it's not going to take too long because it's not a big website. But if you have a large website, this could take a bit longer because it'll be backing up more and more files. So now that my backup is done, we can see it's right here on the bottom. So the next step now is to go ahead and click on download. So again, I'm going to click on download. Now it's not too big. It's only 48 um, megs, which is not too bad. Okay, so it looks like my uh, backup has been done. The next step now is to come over here to sadcrafter.com. This is the blank website. So we're going to come over here, go to our dashboard. And uh, remember, we already installed WP Vivid, but this time we're going to click on backup and restore. And we are now going to restore that file that we went in and downloaded. So what we're going to do now is, so over here, we're going to come over here to the, uh, all right, so over here, we're going to go to upload. Click on the files here, and my file is on the downloads, and here it is. Double click on that, click on upload. All right, so the upload now has been completed, so I can now click on restore, and then over here, I'm going to click on restore. Click on OK. So now this is showing us the overall progress of what is happening on our site, which is pretty cool. So uh, in a moment, we are going to have a completely moved website from ZipWP onto my new site crafter website on my actual hosting account. So this plugin is so powerful and I highly recommend it. Now we're almost done here. I just want to show you that this has actually worked. So we started off with a blank website. Now in a moment, I'll be showing you the complete website. But what I'm interested in here is to see if all my um, boards have been all migrated to my new site because this is very, very important because I spent a lot of time creating my um, project management boards. Okay, so we are 93% now and actually, you know what? It's so fun. I can see here that uh, Fluent Forms has been uh, added. Quite a few uh, items have been added here because I could see it scrolling past. I'm going to click on OK. So now it's asking me to log in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back to my server here refresh this and then log in using magic login and see if that's going to work. Otherwise, I'll need to use my login from ZipWP for me to be able to log in because that's the site that has been moved over from ZipWP onto my hosting account now. So let's try that. And I'm going to click here on magic login. 
and sure enough, I'm in now sitecrafter.com. So let's click on visit here and see if we have our basic landing page. And sure enough, we have our basic landing page here. By the way, I'm still working on the site, but you know what I'm interested in? I'm interested in seeing if um, all my plugins have been imported. So we're going to come back over here to the dashboard and go to Fluent Boards because this is where I was planning everything uh, that will be on sidecrafter.com. So we have our partnerships here. So if I click on here, we can see that our boards are here. Learn Dash Video 3, Airlift Review, uh, SEO Writing AI. So this is pretty cool. Everything has been moved over and everything seems to be working okay. This was my main worry, by the way, that is it going to really bring everything from um, ZipWP onto my new server here and it looks like everything is working okay so it's fantastic i highly recommend wp vivid i'll leave a link to that in the video description below anyway guys how do you migrate your websites i'd like to know if you have a much better way or if you use a different way of doing it but this is how i do it so anyway guys thank you very much for watching i'll see you in the next one take care